All right, what's going on my pool owning friends? If you're watching this video, you probably are curious to see how much electricity your pool pump uses. Or maybe you're just checking out this pool pump that I have. Well, a few years ago, I bought a used pool. And when I bought that used pool, I bought a brand new liner and I bought a brand new pump. So all the research I did, I thought it would be best to buy a pump that had a low setting and a high setting. So now I'm gonna see how much electricity and what the difference is from running it on the low setting and the high setting. I definitely think it was worth buying the pump that had a low setting because this thing, for one thing, it runs way quieter. Like this is, this pump in my filter is sitting under my deck. So now I can sit on my deck with this running on low and you can barely even hear it. If I put this on high, it is way louder. The big thing is that we just want to see how much electricity this is saving by running it on low. This is the kilowatt easy meter. So this will actually tell me how much electricity that I'm using daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly on this pump. All right, I don't know if any of you guys care, but I am filtering a 24 foot pool and it's about 13,000 gallons, just in case you are looking for a pump. I'm gonna run this on low for maybe around five or six hours and then I'm gonna shut it off. And in between each one of them, I am gonna do a backwash just to kind of break this up so and clean my basket out real good on my pool. So the pump should be running just about the same both times other than it'll be on high or low. All right, first let me clean out my basket on my pool. A couple months out of the summer, I do like to run these pool socks on here. I think that's what they call these. They seem to really help saves my filter and it really filters out all the junk especially in the beginning of the year you'll get a lot of i know we get a lot of stuff falling off our trees out here in the back and this filters that out before it goes into all my sand so um any of the stuff i'm talking about i'll put it down in the description in case you guys want to check it out i think here for the next couple of days while i do this review i'm going to leave this off i'll just let this basket in there there now my basket is nice and clean and if you want to know more about this kilowatt meter that i bought i do have another video on and i explain a little more about this how i set my kilowatt per hour on this so depending on where you live you might be paying different for your kilowatt per hour like here now i just did mine again because i think our electricity has went up since all this craziness is going on in this world last time it was like 11 cents per kilowatt hour now it looks like i'm paying like 14 cents per kilowatt hour but now if you want to look at your bill and figure that out instead of trying to figure everything out just take it you definitely on your bill it should say how many kilowatt per hour you you used per month so if you look at your bill and look at the last month it'll tell you how many kilowatt per hour you used and my kilowatt per hour what or my kilowatts that i used was I used about 1,373, so you should probably be somewhere up in the 1,000 range on how much you used. And then I took my, my bill, which my bill was $194.08. I took 194.08 divided by my 1,373, and that came out to a rate around 14 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna put in here, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. All right, there. I have 14 cents per kilowatt hour, 122 volts, cause that's, I live in America. All right, everything looks like it's ready to go. I'm gonna set this timer so it doesn't turn off. All right, the timer's not on, so this will just keep running. All right, got it all plugged in. Let's turn this on low. We'll do my first one on low and then I'll do the test on high and see how much electricity it uses on high. That's one thing about this pump. It does have a low, off, and a high switch, which is nice. All right, let's see how many amps we're running on low. 3.6 amps, this is on low. All right, so let's let that run for, I'm gonna let it run maybe about six hours and I'll come back and then I'll switch it on high and maybe try to let it run another six hours and see how much electricity I'm using or what the big difference is. All right, while I wait for that, I'm gonna drink my Zip Fizz. You guys ever drink any of these? This is the first time I've ever had one of these. It's got pretty good ratings. My wife bought a bunch of these. It's supposed to have a bunch of B vitamins and maybe a little bit of caffeine in it, so it's supposed to wake me up. It's pretty good. You can just take this and mix it right in your water bottle. 
All right, before I switch this back over to high, I'll talk to you a little bit about this pump just in case you are watching this video maybe about this pump also. But like I said, on low, this pump is very, very quiet. If I'm sitting on my deck, I can't even barely hear it. Hopefully I'm gonna find out the reason why I bought this pump is because it does have a low setting and a high setting. The reason you will still have a high setting on this pump though is when I used to vacuum this out by having to hook up my vacuum and my hose, I'd have to put this on high to vacuum out my pool. Other than that, I always ran it on low. Now I hardly ever turn it on high because I bought a, a dolphin robot that I just dropped in my pool. And that, I wish I would have bought that about three years ago. That thing is awesome. I'll throw one of them down in the description too if you want to check one of them out. All right, another thing I like to explain, if you're hooking up some of this stuff by yourself, Make sure you put unions in like this. I have that union there and I don't have a union here, but maybe if you'd have this hard plumb too, you might want to have a union on here, but I can unhook this and unhook that union. And then I have a couple screws in the base here. I can take this out and store this for the winter. This pump is a 1.5 horsepower, which like I said, it works really good for this 24 foot above ground pool. And I can't really tell you how many gallons per minute because that's gonna depend on how far you're pumping and how much water you got, how big your pool is. It's a lot of, a lot of different things you gotta figure out how many gallons per minute. Another thing on this pump that you can do is right here's my discharge, which is going straight up and down vertically. You can make this go horizontal too. You can tear this apart. There's a little video on, on the link on Amazon that you can watch where it shows you how to make this go horizontal just in case your discharge, wherever you're hooking it up, you need to hook it down here, you can spin that. All right, well, that's a little bit about this pump. So let me let this run. We'll get back and we'll see how much electricity it used. Then I'll put it on high and I'll see how much electricity it uses on high. All right, I think I've run this pump long enough on low to see how much electricity I would use. A year, $234. A day, 64 cents. A week, four dollars and 49 cents a month 1925 so a month on low if you're running this 24 hours a day it's going to cost you 19 dollars and 25 cents and i only normally run this pump right around half a day so right around 12 hours so maybe it cost me around 10 bucks 9 10 bucks a, a month now i'm going to go out and check my filter basket i want to backwash this real quick again and then I'm gonna switch this over to high, reset my kilowatt meter, and see how much electricity I use on this same pump on high, which I'm gonna guess that most of the pumps, if you have like a one and a half horsepower pump and it's only a single speed, it's probably gonna be what my high setting is. Because on my low setting, I can't even barely use that to vacuum my pool out. So I know that's why they definitely still have a high setting. When I would wanna vacuum my pool out, I would hook my hose up and switch this over to the high setting. Other than that, I use low all the time. Let me backwash this real quick. I'm not gonna do this really that long because it only ran a day. Rinse it. Filter. Now let me switch this over, reset this. All right, all right, there, I'm gonna put this on high and I gotta still go check my filter basket. Uh, I'm gonna try to let this run for maybe a good day on high and see how that turns out. I almost forgot to tell you guys how many amps this is drawing on high. So let me look here, 10.2 amps on high. So put down in the comments if you think the cost is gonna double or triple on high. All right, that's long enough for this run on high. Let's see how much electricity we use on high. I'm gonna turn this off so it's not so loud. $3.17 a day, $22.24 a week, $95 a month on high. Now that's running this like I, this would be 24 hours a day. Most people don't run their pump 24 hours a day on high. $1,158 a year. All right, well, that's definitely a lot more money to run this on high. I definitely think it was worth buying a pump that had a high and a low setting. And like I said, I will normally only run this about 12 hours a day, maybe sometimes even less. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. 
please leave me a comment down below that really helps me out and check out anything i have in my description uh, i'll have links for different things down there god bless and have a great summer swimming in your pool